scarlet blaze. The triumph of valor. To rescue Count Burglies, Edelgard seizes the Great Bridge of Murden, forcing Count Gloucester's surrender. With no time to lose, she then presses on, unbowed. But Claude is not one to be caught off guard. He rallies every resource at his disposal, determined to tighten the noose around Burglies' forces and prevent any rescue. So we've lost Gloucester. Unavoidable, perhaps, but it still stings all the same. Fortunately, I haven't been sitting on my hands this whole time. If we smash the Imperial reinforcements and stop them from breaking the siege, Count Burglies will have no choice but to give up. We're going to face that challenge, and we're going to face it with the Alliance's latest and greatest, which is why I've asked all of you here. Did you really just say latest and greatest with a straight face? Oh, he said it all right. And while I can't swear we'll have that, we do at least have numbers on our side. Yep! More than half of the old Golden Deer House is here! Some of us may not be quite as great as you say, but... Well, you know best. I'm grateful to each of you for answering the call. It's more than I can say for some of our classmates. Yeah. Ignatz and Lawrence both sided with the enemy. No. About that. It pains me to say this, but how Cerdelia has made its allegiance to the Empire clear. It was against my parents' protest that I came here in the first place. If this battle doesn't unfold the way you're hoping, I may be forced to leave as quickly as I arrive. That's okay, Lysithia. You're not the only one who's here with strings attached. Yes. My adoptive father has also insisted I return home at once, should the tides turn against us. Sounds about right. Three cheers for that good old Alliance solidarity. I'll fight with you to the end, Claude! Uh... Unless it puts Maya in danger. Then I'm out. Look, what matters is that you're all here, and that we settle this war with the next battle. Also, for full disclosure, I may have sort of brought along some extra professional muscle. Come on in. It's good to meet you. I'm the acting captain of Gerald's Mercenaries. Our guest here is fresh off another battle with the Empire on Kingdom soil. From what I gather, remaining in the kingdom was no longer an option. And that's when our paths crossed here in Alliance territory. Oh, hello! I know reliable when I see it, and you are definitely that. I'll do whatever you ask as long as I'm getting paid. So long as we're allied, I won't fail you. All right, let's begin our council. As you've no doubt heard from our scouts, the path from here to Deirdre will be fraught with difficulties. The Alliance has constructed fortalices and palisades, and laid other traps to slow our progress. In addition, they are plotting ambushes at key positions along the way. Needless to say, we will not be able to avail ourselves of the direct route. But if we try to dance around all their traps, we'll never make it in time. Yes, but this is Count Burglies we're talking about. He could probably stretch his soldiers a few extra days through sheer force of will. I would normally write off such an idea as lunacy. But sadly, it will likely come to that. We have made attempts to smuggle provisions to Count Burglies through holes in the enemy lines. But this has met with little success. They must be so hungry! I know just how that feels. The struggle to get food when all you want to do is hide under your covers! Hello! 
Hello, old friend. I mean, no offense, but if time is truly so short, why do we waste it dithering in council? We should embark on our rescue mission straight away! How did Hubert put it again? We're here to break their siege, not fall prey to one. I agree. A hunter must never be losing sight of their calmness. Well said. Let's not allow Claude to wind us up. So we must take the safe route, but do so as quickly as possible. A best of both worlds situation, I suppose. Understood. Good. With that decided, let's move on and discuss our preferred formation. This is true. You don't say. the true enemy. The flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> this is definitely one of the foods I love. This is one of my favorites. Thank you. This really makes my day. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Come back whenever you're hungry. Excellent. Let's see. Over here. Well? Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Greetings, friend. Nothing to report. Say to you. I carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. 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 You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality, friend. 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 You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality, friend. 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 Hope to see you again soon.
Let's see. Dear. Hey, Manuela? Huh. She must be out. Did I hear something? Oh, wait. Is she sleeping in one of the patient beds? Oh, you. So silly. <laughs> she's smiling. I wonder what she's dreaming about. Wait. Don't go. So you're just gonna leave? Uh-oh. Now she's scowling. Looks like things are going downhill fast. Get back here. You'll regret this. You hear me? I'll never forget. <gasps> Morning, Manuela. Oh my. I don't even remember falling asleep. I don't suppose I was talking in my sleep, was I? Nah, I didn't hear anything. Really? I have a feeling you're just saying that. It's sweet of you, though. Actually, I had the most dismal dream that I'd finally found my soulmate, only for him to dump me. Just thinking about it makes me furious. How is it that even in my dreams I am hopelessly single? Oh, I am. Uh... I need a, a moment. Are you okay? I'm sorry, but... Uh, could I uh, trouble you for a glass of water? Phew, that is much better. Thank you. No problem. But, uh, it smells like you've been swimming in booze. Are you hungover? I might be. Is that a problem? Well, I don't think the infirmary is supposed to look like a bear charged through here. That seems like a problem to me. Back off, will you? You're the one who trounced in here unannounced and eavesdropped on my private, if humiliating, sleep talking. And now you're attacking me for a tiny hangover in a messy room? Who do you think you are? My husband? 
What? No, but as your friend and comrade, I can't not say anything. I know, you're right. I'm sorry. I tend to fly off the handle when I'm embarrassed. Hey, can I ask you for one teensy favor? You want me to pretend like none of this ever happened, right? Don't worry, I won't tell a soul. You're a class act. Thank you. Well, I don't want everyone to think worse of me than they already do. I mean, honestly, where did it all go wrong? Did you know I was once a diva with the Middle Franc Opera Company? But now, apparently I'm just a shadow of my former self. Can you believe how rude that is? Why would you kick a girl when she's down? What? But uh, I didn't... How about this? In lieu of hush money for our little secret, perhaps I'll let you hear me sing next time. I'll show you that this diva's just as dazzling as ever. Now you have something to look forward to. Anyway, did you need something? Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm sure I had a reason to come in here, but now I don't have the slightest idea what. Got a sec. Truly capable people here. Mmm. We have some truly capable people here. Mmm. We have some true. Mmm. We have some truly. Mmm. We have some truly capable people here. Mmm. We have some truly cap. Mmm. We have some truly capable people here. Come back soon, all right? Come back soon. Hey there. Need something? be of service. Grateful. 
Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. For training, you'll be unstoppable. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. For training, you'll be unstoppable. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Yes. Well, how'd it go? Any results, a good result. Listen. Truth be told. Let's see.
Which battlefield are you headed to? Get this over with. Now you'll see how hard I've been training. I don't care much for battle. Understood. Work, everyone. I never let an audience down.
starting the mission. Is that an order? Prepare to be amazed. Go for it. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. Starting the mission. Is that an order? Starting the mission. Is that an order? Prepare to be amazed. Go for it! Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. Commencing <laughs> 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 attack. 
Follow me. It's a dream. Why do you always settle for such simple reasoning? You know this is more than a fabrication of your sleep-addled mind. Our first reunion in who knows how long, and you try to write me off as a figment of your imagination? Hmm. I'm sorry about that. Though I was definitely asleep last I checked. Anyway, what do you want? To warn you, something is troubling me, eating away at me actually. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I can sense a presence closing in on you. A dangerous one. The Ashen Demon, right? This wouldn't be your first warning about that one. Hmm, that might be it. Perhaps the two of you will square off in battle soon. Good, because this time I'm gonna win. I have to. Fortunately, I'm pretty used to these powers of yours by now. Then I'll let myself stay just a tiny bit optimistic. Just don't forget that your opponent has had as much time to grow as you. Your future isn't the only one at stake here. The demon could also put an end to Edelgard's vision with as little as one swing of a sword. Whatever happens, we can't let all our hard work be undone. Since when have you been such a warrior? I've got this, trust me. I won't let anything happen. Not to Edelgard, or to the others. What do you mean? I'm always worried about you. After all, you're my... Yeah, yeah. I'm your partner in destiny. <laughs> I finally got you to say it! <sighs> How wonderful! What say you?
We love you, Manuela! Ah, did you see that? Dorothea looked right at me. Wow, that crowd was amazing. I thought they were going to faint on the spot the moment you appeared. Pretty impressive reaction, considering how long it's been since you quit the stage. Don't sell yourself short, Dorothea. Those people were cheering full throat for you as well. That's also a fine reaction, considering you left the songstress life behind nearly two years ago. But time passes quickly, and let me tell you, it has certainly done a number on me. Oh, stop it. Time hasn't diminished your beauty nor your voice. Well, you're very sweet to say so. But we both know I'm getting by with smoke mirrors and the skin of my teeth. I'm no longer fit to command the stage. At best, I can serve as a bodyguard to our successors in the Middle Franc Opera Company, as they look to entertain our troops. Yes, well, all kidding aside, we both know it was the current songstress, Adrienne, who received the loudest cheers from the crowd. Hey, not to bring down the mood, but, uh, what am I doing here? I don't know the first thing about opera, and I'm sure you had plenty of people clamoring to keep all of you safe on this little excursion. So why me? We've already been over this, Dorothea. You and I both know this kind of thing isn't my cup of tea. Actually, your unfamiliarity is the reason we chose you to accompany us. If we brought along a bunch of starstruck fans to serve as escorts, it would end in disaster. Sadly, we've learned from experience that people will use any excuse to get close to our singers. Sometimes, they even convince themselves that we've reciprocated their feelings, when we've clearly done nothing of the sort. Alas, we've all had to get quite good at close-quarter combat as a result. The Opera Company was where I learned my dagger skills, though I admit it's hardly the most appropriate weapon for a battlefield. Sounds intense. Indeed. Behind the glitz and glamour of the stage, swirl all manner of dark desires. But when it works, everyone comes together to beat back the darkness and create something magical. Like most everything else, you just have to take the good with the bad. <sighs> this kind of talk really takes me back. Forgive our intrusion, my lady, but we're ready to begin moving again. We should reach the next town in a little over... Hmm? What's all that racket? Sounds like we're up. Don't let them harm any members of the company.
We must protect the Opera Company. Make this a performance to remember. We've got a friend in trouble. We've got a friend in trouble. Are these kidnappers? Thieves? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll send them packing no matter who they are. Take these guys out, quick!
that's it. Amazing. As I've come to expect from you. Good. Yeah. 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 Y
No more of them, huh? Guess wiping them out's our only choice. Prepare to be a... Need a hand? Be Leave this one to... Looks like... to be amazed go for it leave this one to me that's my cue how long can this go on and how many of these boars are there anyway have no fear my dear Manuela yeah. I have come to rescue you You came for me! Oh dear, am I actually into this? Sweet surprise! It's Manuela and Dorothea in the flesh! Somebody sack me, cause I gotta be dreaming! You're so beautiful, Dorothea! Leave this one to me. That's my cue. It's Manuela! Prepare to be a mate. Go for My accomplishments won't mean a thing if I'm not still standing when the battle's over. Yeah. Your fighting yeah. inspires me to persevere in my research. You always were a natural at stage combat, Mulan. You're no slouch either, Dorothea. Your swashbuckling lit up the proscenium. Leave this one to me. That's my key.
this one to me. That's my... Others like you never learn of their talents and fall instead into the bandit life. Yes, I suppose it's lucky I turned out this way instead of as a common thief lurking by the side of some dusty highway. That's my... Prepare to be amazed.
I'm the star now. No! I was a huge fan when I used to live in the capital. Please, let me come with you. I wasn't actually fishing, but I still like what we caught. It's good to know the people still really love us. Especially bandits, apparently. Not quite sure how to feel about that. I'm getting better. I won't let myself stop. Yeah. <sighs> I hope everyone from the opera company made it safely to town. We had bandits popping out from every which way, didn't we, Manuela? Indeed. But those rogues were no match for our combined charms. I assume by charms you mean the pure beatdown you put on them. That'll hopefully make them think twice before they mess with us again. Still, why were there so many bandits camped this close to a town? Is it because of the war? In a sense. Care to explain that? Of course. You see, towns within the Empire have begun tightening their security for fear of the enemy. And in regions near the front line, such as this one here, there are naturally more soldiers about. That leaves the bandits with no place to go. Sounds like they should just abandon the brigands' life and become mercenaries instead. Easier said than done. Take the bandits we just fought. It's not as if they have a chain of command or central organization. They are clearly a group that came together out of common interest and survival, not any manner of grand military ambition. Guess that explains why they fought the way they did. All swagger and no plan. In any case, I came the moment I heard about bandit activity in the area. I hypothesized the opera company might be targeted, and so rushed to your aid. Well done, Hanuman. That's a more clever course of action than I expected from you. You could have ended that before the second part. Be upset. In fact, you should be pleased I feel comfortable enough with you to speak my mind. It's nice how you two can be so honest with each other. Do you think so? Well, that's certainly a more pleasant way to view things. That's exactly how I try to look at it. At least until a certain someone comes along and screws it up. All right, knock it off, you two. If you insist on indulging in these sparring sessions, at least have the courtesy to let the rest of us leave the area first. Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's leave them to it. No, wait! I apologize! Just please don't leave me alone with this woman! I'm also sorry. Let's just forget this ever happened and head back as one big happy family. All right? Oh, 
I love days like today when there's hardly anyone around. Hello, Bernadetta. Do you have a minute? Ah! What? I wasn't doing anything, I swear! I'll take that as a yes. Listen, there's a small matter that needs a bit of handling, so I'm gathering up anyone who's available. Which, as of right now, is just the three of us. Okay, well, I'm not much good at dealing with things, and certainly not with, you know, matters. We're going after bandits that are holed up in a cave, which means ranged combat will be useless. Bernadetta's just gonna slow us down. The bandits? Hey, and wait! I'm not going to slow anyone down! Don't be rude! I can fight when I want to, so maybe I want to today. Just trying to give you an out. But hey, if you want to come bandit caving with us, fine by me. Well, um, yeah, you know what? Maybe I should just sit this one out. Isn't there someone else you can ask? This is my day off. It's Bernie Day. Actually, nearly everyone else is off seeing to one task or another at the moment. Aww. Oh. I guess that's why it's so nice and quiet around here today. Enough! If we don't make haste, the enemy will realize we are coming and flee their location. <laughs> Who are you? That's Duke Garrett, the Minister of Foreign Affairs. I assume this is your first time meeting. This may very well be, but I have quite often worked alongside your mother. Really? I guess I should be thanking you for keeping her safe, then. Ah, not so. In fact, it is very much I who am indebted to her and her considerable talents. All right, I think that's enough introductions for now. We need to get this show on the road, remember? Quite right. Bernadetta, let me get you up to speed. Two years ago, I was attempting to recover the lost fetters of Dromi. But a suspicious personage, seemingly having learned of my efforts, managed to infiltrate my inner circle. They were likely working for Lord Arundel. In a related note, someone attached themselves to my father, Baron Ox, during the time I went missing. My investigation into that person led me to Duke Garrett's inner circle. Point being, these suspicious actors all appear to lead back to a single group. Those are the cave people? Indeed. After many fruitless attempts, we finally managed to track them down. We must strike before they have a chance to relocate. And Edelgard and Hubert and the rest of them really aren't around? It's just... me? Looks like Bernie Day will have to wait. It's bad luck we ended up getting the report today. Sorry, Bernadetta. Well, I'll just have to take it out on the enemy. Let's go. And remember, time is of the essence. We will strike a mighty blow against any who would threaten our empire and her majesty. And as I fear I'm not much of a fighter, I will be depending greatly on you all. Good luck.
Is this truly the place? Because it looks... We've got a frick old world like a hideout of common Britons. I think that's the idea. So first, we'll need to eliminate the bandits outside. Come now, Bernadetta. They're no match for you. Yeah. Really think so? Well, in that case, I guess we can give it a shot. Searching for lost relics. Ah, you hadn't heard. I do so under direct orders from Her Majesty. We needed the bargaining chip to ply the Archbishop when we negotiated the reformation of the Southern Church. seen him in some time. Doing well, thank you. He's slowly becoming more accustomed to his standing as Baron, despite never wanting it in the first place.
Good. We can enter their basement. Into the caves, everyone. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
this group? I will gladly handle this. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. It appears to be stronger than before. Be on your guard! Hey, I thought we were done! You like that? Let's do this! <laughs> Numbers appear to be falling. They sniffed us out. 
Just like them cases they are. I've got you now! That's the commander. Hold fast and fight to the bitter end! That woman has both spirit and a strong will. She is nothing at all like what I'd heard. Planning, I'm gonna stop it. Might you be? success, I suppose. He is certainly proving to be a troublesome foe. I will have to inform Her Majesty. We should all feel good about getting through that last battle with our heads still on our shoulders. Thanks mostly to the two of you. Yes, you set my mind at ease regarding our future prospects. And I've come out of it with a fine story for Lady Vari. Oh, um, you did? Yes, she's been quite worried about you. But now I can tell her you're getting along wonderfully. Um... Thank you. And with that, I must take my leave. Of all the Imperial nobles I've met, that guy seems like one of the most decent and normal. The kind of man you can trust. Yes, what you see is what you get with the good Duke. He's a truly honest soul. He tries to keep himself safe and sound, of course, but that's no different than any other noble. He also seemed pretty worried about Bernadetta. So hey, are these caves great or what? All that cold, crisp air just settles right in here. It would be a great place to curl up and hide. I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on, you know. The mountain air, the clean type, it all settles down in the caves. I like that. Hey, whatever you say. Such caves are often layers for monsters as well. Oh, and bandits, obviously. When it comes to curling up, I think this would be more dangerous than cozy. E yeah, that's actually a good point. It might be too dangerous to hang out here all alone. Plus, if heavy rains have been eroding the bedrock, a bad enough storm could collapse the entire system. All that to say, I think you're safer staying in a room with four man-made walls. Fine! 
alone! I won't hide in caves anymore! Are you happy? Anymore? But you're always just locked up in your room. You're not! We see each other all the time! Could a locked up person do that? Huh? Uh, I guess not. No. You guess? So mean! Sorry, that came out wrong. Apology accepted. But you better watch it! Well, I think we're done here. Let's head back. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Time to work you into shape. This will take some getting used to.
I always strive to improve. I will heal my own path with this power. I demand.
This is a way to get more power. I'm getting the hang of this. Can't let this power go unused. Can't wait to get back out there. This power will serve me in the time. This is quite fascinating. I've got the hang of it. I am capable of... Time to work you in. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Hey. I don't know. Go. My instruction comes at a high price. Neglect your daily studies. It is you. Did you need something? As a matter of fact, well, how'd it go? Any results, a good result. Which battlefield are you headed to? 